Hey everybody, welcome back to From Under the Rug, the channel that shows a new side to those you may have had respect for. Today we're taking a look at a peculiar character in the history of the internet, and that's the man behind the Sonichu comic, Christian Weston Chandler. For those of you who are new to him, he is one of the most documented people on the internet, and certainly not for good reasons. A combination of bad parental uprising, trolls on the internet, and autism, amongst other things, has caused him to be the target of many who are interested in learning about his entertaining and yet sad life. He is well documented by others, and it would take way too long to go over his full past, so I would recommend looking at some online information if you're interested. But for this video, I'll be mainly discussing what's necessary to get my point across. That being that Chris is scamming the small fan base that's willing to give them money. I'll have to explain a little bit to those who are new to this to get caught up. Chris Chan is the author of the Sonichu comic, the combination of Sonic the Hedgehog and Pikachu. This is his most notable creation and what they're currently trying to make money off of online. It has inspired several spin-offs, such as his own sub-episodes that are more based on his life than the regular comics, and the much better series, The Amazing Asperchu. It's the closest thing that he has to actually being employed. For a multitude of reasons, Chris seems to be unable to properly hold a job, even entry-level ones that would be relatively easy to at least make some money off of. What Chris does is get fans to pay monthly for him on Patreon to make comics for Sonichu, and this is done by fans that want to give him money for the laughs, or just to see what it will be spent on. The fans get comics to laugh at, and Chris gets money, and can live a regularly good life. In theory, at least. In actuality, this is not what happens, and will become the subject for this video. Chris also does something different to get money, and that is begging for it from fans for no benefit in return. This is for a variety of reasons, but it's usually to pay off bills. In these videos, Chris has a large variety of toys, games, and other items that would no doubt have made it much easier to pay off bills for, if not for spending so impulsively. This is not lost on people who view these videos, but is lost on Chris, who doesn't seem to get that it would be easier to pay for bills, if not for all the Sonic, My Little Pony, Transformers, and Lego figures that no doubt cause a lot of debt. This has been going on for quite a few years, and the house is filled with various items even now. If that might not persuade you, know that the year that the Chandler household had burned down, Chris managed to spend about $5,000 on Lego sets within the span of that year. This is all important to know because for years, Chris will be perfectly content with asking other people to give their money away, but won't do the slightest bit for himself that would no doubt help his situation. The reason I bring all of this up is that Chris is not being true and honest about where the money is going. The money is typically said to be either for the bills or given to them in exchange for the comics. Chris doesn't routinely do either. On the comic side, since there have only been 14 full comics released since 2005, you can tell that the production is not exactly a speedy process. Chris, despite needing to fulfill obligations that's being paid to do, will update very sporadically if even at it all. As of now, the Quickie, the documentation website, has kept track of the days, and it has been at least a month and a half as of right now since the last update. The people paying money are clearly getting scammed for not getting the comics that they are paying for, and depending on how exactly you look at it, you could say that they are, they are still getting comics, just at a very uneven release. It's not ideal, but they are still being delivered at some point. However, there is more to him being dishonest than just not delivering comics. Chris has lied about begging for money on bills before. To go back a while, back during the October of 2018, Chris said that the family needs money for food after saying that they have enough set away for a hurricane that completely missed them. Now, it isn't entirely impossible that two people, Chris and Barbara, the mother of the house, had ate all of their food within the span of about a month without buying anything more, but the part afterward made it clear that that was not the case. Chris had bought several PlayStation 4 games within the week that it was originally made. If they really needed the money for food at that point, then why did they suddenly have enough for games that wouldn't even be played with that much? Either Chris lied about needing money for food, or lied about where the money is going. This still is not the only instance of lying to get money. 
Around November of 2018, one of the many cats in the Chandler household had an issue in their eye and needed proper medicine, thus asking for money to get it. However, part of the story was false. The eye problem for the cat was real, but Chris already had the medicine, as the Sonichu official merchandise user details that Chris got the medicine from the vet before making a post asking for money at all. This means that Chris lied and had used the bad health of one of the cats to get money from people who genuinely care about the cat. I think it's clear right now to see that Chris doesn't really care about fans for anything but a way to make money without making any personal effort into fixing the problem that could have been easily avoided. So what's the moral here? Don't lie to people who want to support you, make an effort to fix a problem without expecting others to fix it, and just don't generally be a bad person. There is way more to the story of Chris Chan, but most of the rest of the story has been talked about by others more qualified than myself. I do also see to an extent that I am recommending against someone who does indeed need the money, but when Chris proves that the money will likely never be properly used for useful purposes, and is fine with lying to people to want to actually support, then donating won't do any good. It's not okay to act like you need money and then spend it on useless items while you have real problems to deal with. My sources here are all the posts that have been made easily available through the Quickie, Wiki Farms, and through Chris Chan's Twitter page. If there's anything else on this topic or any others you'd like me to discuss, please let me know in the comments section below, and thank you for watching.